we always have some ongoing quality initiative uh, programs where we want to uh, improve something because you can always make something better. Our practice had been identified as one of the uh, top uh, most valuable practices in the country. The uh, universal bed unit where our patients are not moved around the hospital, we move the care around the patient. Um, so we have a, a, a superb team of, of nurses that essentially this is all they do is take care of cardiovascular disease and, and in particular in our case, post-operative uh, or pre-operative patients for heart surgery. We realize that a lot of readmissions are because of patients' confusion about their medications. And so uh, with our cardiology colleagues, we have uh, instituted a, a, a protocol where our patients are seen within 72 hours by a cardiologist uh, after heart surgery. And, and that gives them the opportunity to make certain that the medications, although you know, we go over them meticulously in the hospital, that the, the patients really do understand it and it's being executed the way that we think it's being done. We p pick up some things like uh, fluid uh, uh, retention earlier before it becomes a problem and, and you can take care of it as an outpatient. And so our, our operating room teams are really efficient. We have very short turnover times. They know exactly what we're, what we're gonna do as far as instrumentation and such. So uh, one of the most expensive things for a patient undergoing heart surgery is the time spent in an operating room. And we don't operate fast, we just operate efficiently. We are, are patient-centered and outcomes-focused, and medicine is changing, and, um, and, and there's gonna be more and more emphasis on, on quality. It's a real teamwork sort of thing, um, and, and as well as, as all of our allied healthcare professionals, our referring physicians, uh, our, our cardiology colleagues, all those pieces have to come together to make it successful.